scripture does not teach universal divine mm -hmm. causal determinism. And so you're putting something, you know, it implies that he's putting something into the Bible, reading it into the Bible rather than deriving from it. Um, now, something else I want to talk to you about, Tyson, is Dr. White kept saying, well, we've got to derive our theology from Scripture, yeah. implying that, script, uh, that Molinism wasn't biblical. What do you think about that? Yeah, I thought uh, Dr. Craig's response to this was just excellent. He said, James, you, you yourself do not derive your view directly from Scripture. Scripture does not teach universal divine mm -hmm. causal determinism. And so you're putting something, you know, it implies that he's putting something into the Bible, reading it into the Bible rather than deriving from it. And, and I think White just doesn't recognize that they're doing similar things. Um, they're taking the data of scripture, they're looking at where it points and trying to, you know, find the, the meeting point of all these different lines. Like Dr. Craig said, it's, you know, we've got this information on divine sovereignty and human responsibility and the inspiration of scripture and the existence of God and evil and tracing all these lines to the point where they meet. Like, what is the best explanation? Dr. Craig lands on Molinism and White lands on determinism. And I think the major difference is um, White really struggles with the lack of philosophical understanding um, when it comes to um, God's omniscience. Um, and uh, he's just, um, he doesn't have that, that one part where if you're going to be um, consistent, you know, he doesn't want to take the consistency all the way to the end and say, God must be the author of evil because yeah. of this determinism, right? Mm -hmm. um, so he's got this, he, he accused Dr. Craig of Mysterianism. He's like, you know, where did they come from? Well, there's a Mysterianism in Calvinism um, because there's no explanation given or at least admitted for God and evil. It's God causes all things, evil exists, but they don't want to connect those dots and say, mm -hmm. God is the cause of evil. Yeah. Yeah. What is, yeah. So when, the, when he would make the move and say, well, there's a difference between primary and secondary ca causation, how would you respond to that? Like secondary causation solves the problem is what they'd like to say. <laughs> what? Sorry. Sorry. I just Are read you looking at Ryan comment. again. He said, yeah. <laughs> Peter's one explicitly discuss the distinction between natural free knowledge, universal divine causality, and logical free knowledge. <laughs> Come on, Tyson, you should have known that. I, yeah, it's got to say explicitly Calvinism in there, too, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, um, yeah say, saying that, well, there's a difference between primary and secondary causation. Uh, like that, uh, I don't see how that solves any problems. Um, so no, it yeah. kicks the can down the road, and right. you know, it sounds nice mm -hmm. um, because we, we want to avoid God being the author of evil. But just saying or claiming that um, God does not violate the liberty and and contingency of right. second does not That's do exactly anything right. to explain uh, yeah. the situation. And I loved how Bill said. Uh, you know, with the reading from uh, uh, Westminster, right? He's like, yeah, that makes perfect. That makes Molinism makes better sense of what uh, right. that confession says than Calvinism does. Um, and I've thought that for a while too. And I also uh, found it interesting how every passage, every passage of predestination or whatever, uh, God using, you know, Genesis 50, what, whatever, wherever Dr. White went in scripture to say, this is the Calvinist scripture. As soon as I was listening to him uh, say, and I've read all these passages before, I'm like, well, those are the exact same passages I use to support Molinism. And Dr. Craig rightly pointed out, he goes, that, that's our, those are our, that's my evidence, not yours. You know, yeah. So. yeah. So um, to that, I just recently posted in the Molinism group um, an article I, I that you published on the Free Thinking Ministries website. Um, I think I, it was published in 2018 based on a note that I wrote in 2014. Um, it was a response to White's uh, podcast 
where he tried to use Psalm 33 as a proof text against libertarian freedom. And in my note and in the article, I showed that far from providing a proof text, it actually set up the horns of a dilemma Ooh. that actually supported libertarian freedom. And so uh, we had this, you know, he uh, he remarked on on Twitter that um, he was going to do a, a dividing line on it or something, and he just never did. Oh, really? But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, he never really gave it a response. Yeah. Um, what but it's one of those examples where you know he's trying to proof text away Molinism, and yeah. it's having the opposite effect. It's mm -hmm. actually showing um, that Molinism is a better explanation for the biblical data.